We're gonna make lace cookies. This is not the recipe that I normally use, so it could work or it could not work. I don't really know. We're gonna try it out. Lace cookies are cute. They're also, um, they're delicate. And if you do it fast enough, you can mold them into, into tubes because they're bendable, they're pliable, or you can lay them over a wine bottle and they make like a twill. I don't know if the, this recipe will, but that's what they do. So we have some flour. It's on King Arthur flour and ro uh, oatmeal and sugar, okay? And then I'm supposed to beat an egg into this bowl with vanilla. As you know from watching Dinner Party Tonight, this is simply vanilla essence with the vanilla bean in, in it. I don't know how much you're supposed to use. So I'm beating that. Mix in the dry ingredients into this melted butter, which I've melted, which is a stick of melted butter. Looks like too much butter to me, but we're gonna check it out. Here we go. <laughs> Will it work? Nobody knows. Will it work? We'll see how it goes. Will it work? We'll see how the cookies go. Will it work? Nobody knows. And then I'm, I'm supposed to put this in, I guess. Blend it in, so here we go. So I'm mixing it in the saucepan that I melted the butter in, King Arthur flour recipe. So it's, it's, it'll probably work, but we'll see. Smells good. So these will spread out like mad, okay? So when you put them on here, leave a lot of room in between the cookies because they spread out and make lace cookies. I'm gonna start with something like that, okay? I'm serious, leave this amount of room. You can kind of shape them into a sort of a circle if you want, but it's cute if they're uneven also. Your oven is heated to <laughs> the wrong temperature. Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be 375, a little hotter than normal baking. And we're basically gonna keep an eye on them because they will spread and cook very quickly. My favorite thing I overheard in the street over Thanksgiving was some lady saying to her friend, yeah, and then I used maple sugar because I don't like to use any sugar. And, and I'm, I'm this far behind them because of course they didn't take the class about how to walk in the sidewalk in New York, so I'm right behind them. And she goes, yeah, I don't like to use any sugar, so I just use maple sugar. And I'm like, do you have an issue with like the second word? And incidentally, once it goes past your gullet, it's all the same. Your body processes it all into the same thing. Sugar is sugar. The fr fruit sugar, turns into sugar, the same sugar. So the maple uh, sugar actually has more sugar per teaspoon than sugar does, lady. And incidentally, you can't walk three across in New York. King Arthur says, yeah, it's five to seven minutes, so you wanna keep a real eye on them. That's kind of what they look like. I'm skeptical, but let's see. Okay, I'm taking these out. They look like lace cookies. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, the trick with these, and it is important, is that you cannot let them cool for too long because they will be irreparably stuck. Hold on, but they have to cool a little bit or you can't get a, a spatula under them. It's not a cookie, okay. So you could have a problem here. Okay, this is like batch four because in the spirit of disasters, the first three batches we did went into one huge pancake, not separate cookies. So I used a tiny amount of batter and they spread out quite a bit. They spread out quite a bit, but not as badly as the first ones. Okay, so wait until you can move them with the spatula and then move them onto a rack because they will stick. This is a silpat, but if you're using parchment paper, you, you gotta get them off of there before they cool because if they cool, they will mind meld with the parchment paper. So let these cool for a minute, and then we're gonna put them on a rack. Oops, 
You can stick these in ice cream. Ding. I would store them very gingerly because uh, they're quite fragile. But in the spirit of saying the word ginger, you can actually add small flavorings to these. A little bit of almond uh, essence, a tiny bit of ginger in the batter, just to you know spruce them up. You can even put tiny pieces of chopped dried fruit. I've done that and it's great. But really it's just a simple lace cookie that goes with coffee, ice cream, whatever you'd like. Lace cookie. Will it work? Nobody knows. Will it work? We'll see how it goes. Will it work? We'll see how the cookies go. Will it work? Nobody knows.